Hey, Scarefest fans, it's Joe Lewis Bonehead Weekly to talk just a second about one of the underappreciated Halloween films. I actually think there are a few. Let's talk a little bit about Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. It has found its audience over time, and over time I mean 41 years. It came out in 1982, October 20th, 1982. And it was directed by another Kentuckian. People forget that it was written and directed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Tommy Lee Wallace was from Kentucky, just like John Carpenter. But it came out to very little fanfare. And what the movie basically is about are these coven of witches. And of course, it has that wonderful silver shamrock or that silver shamrock song. Eight more days to Halloween. It's London Bridge is falling down, by the way. They've got these three masks, a witch the pumpkin and the skeleton and they're going to be able to kill so many children once they put on these masks and they watch the the doo -doo 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 sound i know you're laughing right now if you've never seen this movie you're gonna love it you're gonna love it it's dark it's brooding these witches that don't it's not overly well explained are they where are they from are they from stonehenge stonehenge has been stolen and they're here in America going to kill a bunch of children. And it has the great Dan O'Harely as the evil Cochran. And starring Tom Atkins, who's one of those wonderful character actors. And he told me this, but I kind of already knew the story. You know, John Carpenter never really wanted to make a sequel to Halloween. He kind of ended up in a situation where he kind of had to. Once they did Halloween 2, they pretty much, if you've seen Halloween 2, it ends Michael Myers' story. It blows him and Donald Pleasant's Dr. Loomis up. And Halloween 3 was meant to start, this is a fairly, this is a fairly well-known fact, basically it started the idea of, oh, there can be a different Halloween every year where you just have a different story and we just use the name Halloween so you can go watch it. It's a, to me, it's still a fantabulous idea, but people didn't particularly want that. There, it wasn't sold very well, and people weren't expecting not to see Michael Myers, so they got mad. So people just shit on the movie and they didn't go see it as much. Everybody talks about being a bomb. Actually, it was it only cost two and a half million dollars and made 14 million at the box office in 82. It, it wasn't a bomb bomb. It just didn't make as much money as the other ones. And so many people were mad that it kind of just killed that idea, even though I still think it's a fantastic idea. Why couldn't we have the name Halloween and every year you get a different story? Kind of like one anthology hour and a half movie all the time. And it's been explained this way by John Carpenter and Tommy Lee Wallace, the writer-director, was that it has a downer ending, not to give anything away. And in 41 years, you haven't bothered to watch Halloween 3. Spoiler alert. It has a downer ending. And the studio wanted to change it, Universal. And, and John said, do you want to change it, Tommy? And Tommy's like, no, not really. And he goes, okay, well, just letting you know. So they didn't spend a lot of money actually selling the picture. So the advertising wasn't great. They didn't let you know that Michael Myers wasn't going to be in it. And so many people got mad. And it is a kind of a slow movie. It's a brooding little film. But it has so many good kill scenes. There's these robots who work for Cochrane. It is batshit nuts. And a lot of it works. And I really appreciate it. And to me, it's only gotten better with time. Is it slow in parts? Yeah, it's slow in parts. But it's also amazing. I think if you've never seen it or if you've seen it and you're still mad about Michael Myers not being in it, well, no offense, I need another Michael Myers film like I need a hole in the head. But I would love to see different Halloween films every year with a different story. So go check it out if you've never seen it. If you have seen it and you love it, give me a shout out and let me know that I'm not crazy. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch is one of the better Halloween films. Check it out. This has been Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly.